Welcome back to The Everyday Stoic. I am William Mulligan and today's lesson is about the most common myth about Stoicism. The reason I'm doing this lesson is because most of the people that follow me on Instagram and most of the people I see commenting on these videos get the wrong idea of Stoicism and they keep pushing the narrative that Stoicism is about being an alpha male that is emotionless, which I don't think are two things that go together. Um, being a man and being emotionless is not a combination. Or well, I, I don't think it's a combination. So hopefully I can just clear up this misconception. On the flip side of this misconception that I hear about Stoicism, that Stoics are emotionless, there's actually another one that I'm starting to see more frequently, which is that Stoics are weak and scared and they use these Stoic ethics and Stoic cosmology as a coping mechanism to avoid doing things in life, to avoid challenges. And people paint it as a way that the Stoics are hiding away, um, they're not confronting problems. So hopefully I can clear up these two um, misconceptions and explain them slightly. So the first misconception is that Stoics are cold and emotionless. And this misconception mainly comes from the word Stoic with a small s rather than a big s. So the word Stoic, when I googled it, comes up with a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining. Now, while this is a true definition of the word Stoic, it does not describe someone that is a Stoic or someone that follows Stoicism. So when we talk about being Stoic or following Stoicism, we're obviously referring to the philosophy of Stoicism and the virtues and beliefs that the Stoics had towards life. One thing that they impressed a lot was living in accordance with nature through the four virtues, which is courage, wisdom, temperance, and justice and the word stoic with the little s that you will see on google is just a characteristic that some people have so that's where the misconception comes from it is an actual word but there's the big s which is stoicism it's the philosophy and then there's the little s stoic, which is just a word which is a characteristic of someone this picture of being stoic has been imprinted on us through um, pop culture, uh, it's in lots of films when there's a character that's cold. I heard there's a character on Star Trek that's like this. I haven't watched Star Trek so I can't confirm. But the character is cold, emotionless, you know, they might watch a loved one going through struggles, something bad might happen and they sit there and just say, I don't care, I'm stoic. Um, so that's where that misconception's really been painted for people. People see um, that definition of a stoic on TV and on film, and that's where the misconception comes from. So yeah, that's the first misconception. I would like to just explain why Stoics are not cold, why, why they aren't emotionless. Um, in fact, I believe that Stoicism leads you to being more aware of your emotions, more in tune with your emotions, and being m very empathetic towards people. It actually encourages empathy. Um, as the most important virtue of Stoicism is justice. So looking out for others and doing what is good for others, as Marcus Aurelius said, what is good for the bee is good for the beehive. So we've got to think of everyone. We've got to think of the universe around us when we consider our part in the universe, when we make actions. That's the way the Stoics viewed it, that we're not just doing things for us, we're doing things for the world around us, the beehive. So the misconception that Stoics are emotionless can also be contributed to the dichotomy of control. Um, I won't fully explain what the dichotomy of control, but simply put, it's understanding what is in our control and what is without our, not within our control. And everything that is outside of your control, um, you don't need to worry about because you have no control over them. So worrying doesn't help. And a common joke that goes around um, the circle of stoicism and I'm guilty of posting it a lot is something along the lines of um, you know there's a big flood and a guy will just be 
chilling, having a picnic, uh, surrounded by flooded water because the flood is outside of his control. And while, yes, I get a lot of comments saying this isn't accurate, a stoic would actually do something to um, help or to avoid this circumstance, it's just, um, it's a gateway into understanding the dichotomy of control. So it's not strictly accurate, but the concept is that if it's outside of your control, you need not worry about it. So that's what often leads to that misconception. Now, I just want to say that if, if you read Stoic literature, um, like the Meditations of Marcus Aurelius, who was the great emperor of Rome, and Epictetus and Seneca, they teach, teach you to be in tune with your emotions, to be in tune with the world around you, to have empathy for others. And being in tune with your emotions was very important to the Stoics, as it can be your emotions that can destroy you. And if you don't concentrate and you don't regulate your thoughts, and if you leave yourself to ruminate on thoughts, then it can be your downfall. So when people say that Stoics are emotionless, it's very wrong. The more Stoic text I read, the more Stoics I talk to, the more I understand my own emotions and how that has an effect on the world around me, has an effect on myself, and how if I can be more in tune with these emotions and understand what causes them and understand the things that I should avoid, the things that I should do to improve on my own emotional um, capabilities, then ultimately, as William B. Irvine said, Stoicism is a guide to the good life. The second misconception about Stoicism, which I see posted a lot, I won't comment what kind of um, community posts this misconception, but there's a big community online that I think isn't the best community. It um, advocates for a lot of toxic behaviors. They often comment on my posts or send me messages saying that Stoics are weak, Stoics avoid action, they avoid confrontation, they avoid challenges. Um, I see this a lot and I think that it is quite the opposite, that the Stoics taught is the most important virtue this was at the pinnacle of their teachings. This was a guide to eudaimonia, which is human flourishing. Um, the top of the virtues is justice. And justice is to help others. It's to face problems in order to do what is good, what is right. In order to do what is right, we must use the three other virtues, which is courage, wisdom, and temperance. Now, courage is quite the opposite of... Um, being weak. Um, it's quite the opposite of um, not taking action, of being inactive uh, when in the face of adversity. Courage is actually a great virtue that I like to keep in my mind that gives me the power to face adversity. Um, so yeah, when I see that misconception of Stoicism that um, they hide away, they shy away from confrontation, it is quite the opposite. The Stoics taught that we should go out into the world and through justice, do what is right, help others. Um, and I, I also think that the, the misconception comes down to, the again, the dichotomy of control, um, that some things are without your power and not to worry about the things that are not in your power. Um, there's, I post many quotes and teachings about when people try to annoy you, it's best to ignore them. Um, when people confront you, oftentimes it's best to ignore you because most times the outcome can only lead, if you react to their confrontation, it only escalates and gets worse. Where if you can stay calm, um, then normally it de-escalates because you're not adding fuel to the fire. Uh, and most times, I believe this is correct, it's something I stand by, that uh, most scenarios are best left alone, it's best to, just to walk away, especially, especially confrontation and fights, sometimes there is a fight that can start out as something simple as someone pushing in front of you in a line, it can lead to, it can lead, people have died from these confrontations, um, people 
escalate things to a point of no return. But I do agree, sometimes there is bad things happen and we must have the courage to face these things as it's the right thing to do. And it's the right thing for us to do. If we're unhappy in a situation and having that courage to face what we are fearing, if we have that courage to face what we are fearing, then sometimes it can lead to what is best for us. So yeah, hopefully um, I've cleared up those two misconceptions that Stoics are emotionless and that Stoics are weak cowards that I see a lot. Um, thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more, check out my other videos. Go over to my Instagram at The Everyday Stoic where I do regular discussions and Q&As and post quotes and teachings and memes. Uh, if you want to support what I'm doing, then please consider becoming a YouTube member, subscribing, or going to my website, theeverydaystoic.com, where you can buy Everyday Stoic clothing or um, the Memento Mori calendar. Um, anything helps, especially building community on my Instagram page, as it's great to see people discussing all these ideas. And oftentimes, I read a comment and I learn something new about Stoicism, which I think is great, because if I'm learning things from my comments, I'm certain that many other people are learning. So thank you for watching, have a great day.